Well, for the first time in over a year, CMS students will be back in the classroom five days a week. The change comes just a few months after students weren't allowed in the classroom at all. Look at how much things have changed this semester. Every student was learning from home after winter break. Then on February 15th, elementary schoolers returned to class on a hybrid schedule. Middle and high schoolers returned a month later on March 15th. Then by April 12th, all students trans uh, transitioned to learning in person four days a week. Wake Up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw joins us live from the CMS bus lot. Billie Jean, it's been hard for families to keep up with all these changes, but now classrooms will be almost back to normal, at least for these last few weeks of school. Good morning, Sarah. Nice to have you. And that's right. You know, it's been uh, quite difficult to keep up with how many changes CMS has put in place this school year because of the pandemic. But here are some things we know that will remain the same. Mask requirements, social distancing, and daily health screenings. All of this is coming into play as the district tries to return to some sense of normalcy with just weeks left in the school year. With only 18 days left in the school year, starting today, all CMS students are returning to classes in person five days a week. However, students enrolled in the district's virtual learning academy will remain remote and will only attend school during their required state exams. State exams begin Wednesday and will go through the last day of school on the 28th. And parents, we have a full list of those end of the year exams. Third through eighth graders in the grade tests in reading and math, fifth and eighth graders end of grade tests in science. Eighth through twelfth, they have end of course tests in math one, three, English two, and biology. High schoolers have career and technical education tests, and twelfth graders have ACT work keys. And even though end of the year testing starts as early as Wednesday, it's up to each specific school to set that end of the year uh, schedule uh, for testing. So parents check in with your child's school to see when they will be scheduled to take their tests. Of course, we'll keep you updated as more changes may come. Reporting live from the CMS bus lot, I'm Billie Jean Shaw, Wake Up Charlotte.